Hey guys, it's me, it's Chelsea. So today we're gonna do a candy haul vlog. And it's gonna be some foreign candy. And some candy I've never tried before. So I'm pretty pumped. So here's candy. I have a double decker. We have coconut patties. Milky bar. Snowballs. And Reese's dips. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. I love candy. And I'm gonna do them all at once instead of doing different vlogs. vlogs. I know some people do that when they do food vlogs. food aisle. I believe it's British. Um, I could be wrong. Yes. Okay. I guess it's just a basic chocolate bar. I'll open it up. Or not. White chocolate. Oh, fancy. guys, but now chocolate melting in my hand. For the past two days, it's been like 25 Celsius already. This has been really hot in my house. Okay, we're gonna try next. Okay, so I'm gonna try a double decker next. Um, I believe this one was also from Europe. It is a soft, soft, we put a label right on top of the description. So I guess it's just a chocolate bar that we will figure out when we get in on the map. Okay. So not as beautiful as the other one. Oh, I just smuggled them. Oh my god. Okay, ready? <sighs> it smells like, um... A Kit Kat, maybe. A little bit. Or almost kind of like a Ferraro Rocher chocolate. Okay, ready? Okay. Really good. Right. So as you can see, it's 
milk chocolate. Oh, what was that? That aftertaste is delicious. Almost tastes a little bit like having a raspberry. Yeah, what was what, that? What, well, anyway, so it has the like, cream in it. And it has like a thick chocolate thing on and some nuggets in it. Yeah, I wish this candy haul. I got this in the near city, which is about an hour away. <laughs> so it's unfortunate. So next up, I'm gonna try the Reese's Pieces Snacksters peanut butter chocolate spread. So I don't know if you guys have seen this, but Nutella does this thing too. I got Nutella and some sticks on. It's pretty good. Oh my god, I think it might be in love. I just had a Reese's Pieces Easter egg, like leftover one. And instead of having like Reese's Pieces, like uh, smarty kind, little chocolate things, I don't know what you people eat everywhere else. Oh, so Reese's Pieces, like they're like little M&Ms, little Smarties, they're chocolate. But anyway, the chocolate Easter egg was just a chocolate Easter egg filled with peanut butter. So I'm so freaking good. Go. Sorry, I got the pitch perfect thing trailer stuck in my head. Ready? Dude, the cracker thing just don't doesn't bring it justice. <laughs> just eat the damn chocolate thing. Oops, swear word. Party valve. Bad shells. Um it's a really interesting taste. It almost tastes like a cinnamon chocolate thing, but I can't tell if it's gonna be or what. Okay. Oh, I know chocolate on the lid. I'm gonna lick off. Okay. So our last two items are snowballs and coconut patties and I got them because I think they're kind of similar a snowball is also very British no apparently it's not going to tell me where it's from <laughs> okay well anyway Snowball is from Europe, it's more in Europe, and it is a coconut covered marshmallow. Coconut patty is made in America, and it is creamy coconuts covered in chocolate. So I'm gonna go the snowball first.
Marshmallow tastes more like interesting. It's really sweet, but it's like thick, creamy. It's not light, creamy like we have marshmallows here. The marshmallow fluff. This looks to me more like marshmallow fluff than actual marshmallows. That's good, little guys. That's even good. Okay. Last but not least, coconut patty. It may be American cousin to this snowball thing. And I never knew what a snowball looked like. I tried to make them at Christmas. I don't know. I think I like 100 recipes for Christmas, Christmas and I never have time to make them all. But snowballs is one of the recipes I have in my Christmas collection. salted egg coconut versus more faint but the coconut is also glistening and looks really fake this looks, looks real this looks interesting okay ready it's already melting on me see it's so hot in my house right now okay here we go salt water three times, boil them in hot salt water for 20 minutes, and then steam them. Um, but first you have to peel all the brown salt off of them. So like, um, I'm kind of surprised that something with so many instructions is still allowed to be sold in a food market. <laughs> uh, somebody who would buy that and then have to do all that and then worry about dying because, you know, if you screw up a step you might die or get really sick. It's kind of daunting. So I decided not to do that. It's all candy today. Yeah. This is good. I hope you enjoy the food vlogs. I actually really like these. They're one take wonder. Sure, you really like you really you have to go with it once you start. You have to commit. I think it's a good way to challenge myself. Yeah, this stuff it all tastes again. <laughs> no complaints. So uh tell me what your favorite snacks are. Or if you do food vlogs, and I will come and check them out. I might be going to the coast next weekend. So I might be able to go get some vacation. Otherwise, I just try and buy what I can at the superstores in the city that's nearest mine, which is about an hour away, and they all have international aisles. Otherwise, I'd be paying like 10 bucks for international food here. So I'm not doing that. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, maybe you'll go out and buy one of these sweet treats now for yourself. And film. Film yourself eating it. Okay, bye, guys. Once again, you've been watching me. Chelsea, I hope that wherever you are and whatever you're doing, you're having a wonderful time and you're enjoying your life. And take time to eat the sweet treats, you guys. Bye.